It's a celebration! A year with my baby. A year oh, with my baby. A year with my baby. I love you. I love you too. Where are we going? To the crib. Damn right, baby. We just boarded the plane. Apologies if this is low because Mike is dead right now. But I'm sorry. We should. It's like 8:50 right now. We should get there at. Three hours and 19 minutes. So not too bad of a flight. He was over sleep. See y'all when we get there. be welcoming myself back because it's day two and <laughs> it's day two and yesterday we didn't really record the rest of our day slash night but um that's also because we were tired and that might be the new norm because when we got to the first room let me just give you a rundown since i did it we did it the first room that they told us to go to Mind you, there's no um, there's no elevators here. Like it's probably just three floors of rooms in each building. So we go around from the main area to the room that they told us to go to, and we get to the room, and the room is like lodged open by like the what do you call that, Corey? The door stopper. And it's lodged open, so I'm like, all right, is somebody in here? Is this the wrong room? I don't want to be busting in on no other couple. And we opened the door, because we did see, like, housekeeping, like, right by. So I'm like, okay, maybe she's finishing up or whatever. So we opened the door, and the room was still dirty. So I'm like, oh, all right, this ain't our room. At least not right now. And I was, like, praying that it wouldn't be our room, because just seeing it dirty, I'm like, I don't really. Y'all know how I am, okay? I would have gone extra, extra into cleaning mode even more than I usually do. So I didn't feel like doing that. So we walked back to the guest services area or the the lobby area and they they were just like, your room not ready. And we were like, yeah, we didn't cause no fuss. So you gotta just 
You can't just do stuff nice. We didn't cause no fuss. We were just like, yeah, we got there. The room was dirty. And nobody's in there. But it wasn't clean and whatever. So they said, boop, 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 boop. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. So then the guy comes and he's like, we're going to upgrade your room. So we were on the other side. And he's like, I'm so sorry about that. So basically that's what they did. So I didn't, I couldn't tell the difference honestly, initially, but it, I think the first room didn't have a balcony and I wasn't focused on no balcony. Huh? Yeah, we, we, I was just so focused on how dirty, <laughs> I was so focused on how dirty it looked. I didn't look at no, to see if there was no balcony or no views. So I guess that was the upgrade. Like the other room didn't have no balcony. Um, my, I don't like how these are coming up. But yeah, so our new room that we're in now has a balcony. So we just had to wait a couple of minutes and they walked us over. But they were really nice. So when they said, oh, we're going to complimentary. We're going to give you a upgraded room. I was just like, see, Corey? You see, see? They must appreciate that we didn't do none of that rah-rah stuff. I'm like, that's right. That's why you just gotta be still and know. You know what I'm saying? Just know the Lord's favor, man. That's all. Yeah, so once we got back to the room, um, I didn't even get to like wipe it down for real because we were just so hungry and tired. So I just did a little quick spray. I'm sorry I didn't get that on camera, y'all, but I just did a quick spray around. And that was that. And then we changed our clothes, went to go get something to eat. Corey's been having a ball even here. Cause the food that I've been eating. It, <laughs> come here, come talk to the people and tell them, tell them about your food experiences because mine's ain't really worth mentioning. Y'all know I don't eat meat. Corey been having beef patties and beef. Watch out. Cause I'm gonna keep it honest with y'all. Because this is oh, a pretty nice resort. This is also Corey's home, y'all. He's it Jamaican is. and I'm back amongst my people. They've been doing right by me. This man's not Jamaican. Excuse me. See? Let me go get my earrings. Hey, go do that. So, it's been pretty good to me. I think um, off our first experience, if you guys saw our Cabo honeymoon uh, vlog, kind of like similar, just in regards to the stay here. Um, very calm. Like it was kind of like so quiet yesterday we were almost confused and i think part of that is just like us having like relatively busy lives and kind of being used to being around people uh noises living in the city etc all those different things but uh something that i can definitely say that we've needed is just like calm and quiet so it's been really cool just being able to experience that but the food so far on my behalf i'll probably give it like a eight overall um it's a four to her i said my review so we're gonna stay with me um but when we went to the uh grill i thought it was like really dope but pretty much it's open up all day and then they shut it down for dinner which i believe they do italian at that particular restaurant spot and then they open it back up at like 10 o'clock till five o'clock in the morning but basically you have all kinds of snacks so um, our first meal for me, I had jerk chicken with coleslaw and corn. Uh, the fries were really, really good. And they taste kind of like regular fries, but they were like seasoned perfectly. And then we also had the beef patty with the cocoa bread. You already know that was hitting. And they brought it in a brown paper bag. So that like reminded me of, I wasn't gonna say home meaning Philly, but it reminds me of, of being here, like where I'm supposed to be anyway. So come on, yeah, I gotta shut the door. Anyway, um, like I was saying, I thought it was really good um, and the people are like very friendly, which is pretty cool as well. Um, everybody that took care of us so far has been like very, very nice to us. So that's been enjoyable. And then last night we went to the um, Asian cuisine restaurant, which was OK. I'll probably give that like a six or seven. I had a uh, beef kind of dish. Shrimp rolls were really good. Uh, the rice was OK but i don't know we'll see there are five restaurants here so we'll try to give you guys an update on what our experiences like are on those particular restaurants and then uh, we'll be going off site tonight to miss Illy's, which is kind of like a couple of minutes down the road so 
give you guys an idea about what the taxi situation looks like, how you kind of get around when you're not going to like a full on excursion and we'll just keep you updated on the process. But we want to show you the views, how calm it is here, how relaxing it is here and um, appreciate that too because um, sometimes we just got to slow down and that's what this trip is for us. Not posting on socials throughout the whole entire trip, which is kind of different, of course, given our profession, but uh, this trip is for us one year. Um, let me stop just before I start crying, y'all. Oh my God. This is how the rooms and stuff looks. I feel like my hand is so shaky, y'all. I'm sorry in advance, but you're literally walking through all these trees. And they label the trees here too, which is pretty cool. So, good to have an idea of like coconut trees. I know it's one of the ones that they have here. Different things like that. So, a small little nature lesson while you're walking, which is pretty nice. Yep, so we're on our way to breakfast. They have five different restaurants here. Oh, sorry, thank you. Um, there's, it was a freaking golf wagon caddy thing. So yeah, annoying. So our room is like over in that way. I'm gonna see. We got a really nice view. And then this is one of the restaurants. Oh, look, it's a cat. These cats, y'all. These cats out here, they will like, look like they about to pounce on you just for your food. It's insane. Um, but it's nice. Look at the cat. There's all right. One, two. <laughs> Sun just hit you out of nowhere. I know Corey gonna want a beef patty later. Corey's plate, y'all. They got pineapple pancakes. I'm gonna have to see about that. You didn't get no kalaloo? No. Why? You don't know what that is? You don't know what that is, y'all. <laughs> he asked me what Bammy was. I got potatoes, plantain, that's French toast. Kalaloo. That's good. Kalaloo. I love kalu. It's like the Caribbean collard greens, but they eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As a vegetable. Telling the people. No, I'm telling you because you don't know. You don't know this. As a trainee, trainee. As a trainee, a trainee, pom pom trainee. Yeah, I was sitting underneath a, a bird. I had to move my feet.
on the resort. The food at Miss Lily's was really, really good. Probably the best food we've had here since being in Jamaica, which is crazy. But it's real dark, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this for when we get back in the room, y'all. Back to the room, back, back to the, back, back to the room, back to the room. And I got a molten chocolate, a lava. First of all, I feel like we still in Philly, cause y'all hear these bikes all night. Ain't nothing, no, we don't need nothing. We need peace and quiet. Our room is like right by the street. Right by the street. Alright, here we go. Y'all hear that? We can still hear the music. Up the stairs, we go. Three flights, nothing bad. Three flights. They have an elevator in here because the cleaning people, they be having those big bins where they put all the all the towels and stuff and they big I was like Corey ain't no way they have a service elevator they have to because how they get in those how they get in those bins up here oh we're in the key at alright oh look at that Room service came. Finally. Look at our <laughs> shoes off. Look at our <laughs> pillowcases, y'all. Oh, Jesus. They cleaned our room. Why didn't you take this cup? They didn't even take this cup and this, whatever this is. They brought us, they put, they put um, champagne in our room. We got, they were trying to give us champagne on arrival, but we said we ain't having none of that. And they gave us sparkling cider because of like the whole room mix up and stuff too. And then we walk in today and they got a bottle of champagne. This is what they gave us, this sparkling white grape. So this should be pretty good. I think we had this before. Wait, back up. You can't see. My bad, y'all. The light, first of all, why all hotels? It is a little dark, but it's more than a light grape, so I'll probably take this and celebrate tomorrow. It's a celebration! A year with my baby. A year oh, with my, my baby. baby. A year with my baby. I love you. I love you too. The best thing that ever happened to just me. Oh, my skirt. Nah, the second best. Jesus. All right. That's man. right. See, you gotta keep you gotta keep them in order. Carry me. No. You know what you should do? Cause you didn't do it what? on our wedding day tomorrow. Carry me over this threshold of this room. That's on my back right now. Please. He was complaining about holding me in the water. And I had to remind him about the vials he took. What'd you say? To have and to hold. Say it with me. To have I'm on vacation. and to hold. Okay, don't, your vows don't stop because you're on vacation, especially on your yeah, anniversary. Yeah, what a better hold you. <laughs> uh, I just want to take a shower, relax, watch some football. What? 
Girl, y'all, I'm a football girl. I'm a football girly now. I understand. Last week, Colorado was. <gasps> um, I thought our desserts were leaking. Colorado was playing, but it was Colorado State against Colorado University. University of Colorado. University of Colorado, whatever. Um, Deion Sanders' team. And first of all, I understood the game from the Eagles game that we went to, the home opener, home game, whatever you want to call it. So now I understand football. Last week, the football game was like running mad late. Corey's like, let's go to sleep. I'm like, we ain't, we ain't going to sleep. We staying up. They're going into overtime. They won. It was a really good game. I understood everything. I was so proud. Football girl. Oh, I didn't even show y'all my outfit for real. I got this this two-piece set from Fashion Nova. Um, this bag. I said Fashion Nova. Sheen. Sheen. She in, whatever you want to call her. Bag two. My flip flops. I got them last year, but they're from her. From She in as well. Um, those are from She in as well. And Corey's outfit. Where are those shorts from? Primark. Shorts were from Primark. And his shirt, I got it from Fashion Nova. And he had brown sandals on, and that was the sandals he had. I don't know where those are from. Those sandals? They don't look like they're from Primark. They look like they're like better quality than Primark. But anyway, and then earrings. These earrings are really cute. They're from Shein, too. So, Shein, I know y'all ain't the best, but look, okay? I, my mama was desperate, and I needed to get some stuff real fast and real cheap because it's the end of the season, okay? And nobody trying to spend a whole grip on no clothes that they not gonna keep wearing for the rest of the season because it's fall now. So I did better. Oh, in terms of packing, let me just tell y'all. We didn't fulfill the goal, okay? We gonna try again. We didn't fulfill the goal. We overpack still. Cause your girl don't know how to pack. <laughs> we don't know how to pack. So we got a check-in bag luggage and then we got two carry-ons and I got a personal item bag. Don't ask me what's in it, okay? Don't, don't, let's not go there. Let's just not judge. We're gonna, we gonna keep, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna, we're gonna keep getting better, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna try for next time. You know, I don't know. But yeah, um, we probably about to, what we about to do? Look at Corey over here, I don't know what, he, what he doing. What he doing, y'all? Corey, what you, what are you doing? I'm trying to do something. Look. Oh, y'all, look at this, look at this tripod. Mm. Okay. This tripod is really cool because you can like adjust it, right? So do like this, but this also closes, look. This closes like that, right? And then this, this clips like this. So I could put my camera on here. I haven't tried putting my camera on here, but the fact that you can, so we only, and this like it, it gets smaller. And then this part, it just be, it becomes a stick. What'd you say, babe? The ice cream cup. Oh, and guess what? We figured out, well, cousin Craig helped us out. We bought an extension cord. It's Thanks, Mama. It's, it's, uh, it's whatever. We bought an extension cord because um, Corey's cousin told us that we can travel with our fire stick. So we've been watching the channels we've been usually watching at home here because we brought the fire stick and Corey set it up. So that's been a huge blessing. But, um, yeah. So it's this, what else? I have one more thing to show y'all. Please hold. Let's see if this light will turn on real quick. But this was my other thing that I purchased that I'm like so happy about. It's a portable light. Ooh, y'all see how light that is? But it changes. See? 
yeah and this clips to your phone or whatever i think it's 25 dollars. all this stuff is linked in my amazon store and i'll show y'all the tripod thing that hooks to the um mirror i'll show y'all that tomorrow okay <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm really happy that we had good food. That's that's really, that really, really. Uh, all right. See y'all. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. <clears throat> y'all, Corey over here drinking coconut water. Being a real yadman. This man had soursop juice. He had aki. He had kalalu for the first time. That was your first time. I, I literally just met you. Corey, you didn't know what it was. And you didn't know what soursop was. I'm only trying to entertain you. Whatever. Right. <laughs> anyway, we just had breakfast, y'all. And it was good. Day two. I mean, what is day is it? Three? Oh, seven, four, day. Day three, but it's our second full day. And it's also our anniversary. Do you know what today is? What? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a anniversary year, baby, one year down. A million more to go. I'm with my baby in. He interrupted my flow. <laughs> so, the itinerary today is in an hour we're going snorkeling Corey's going snorkeling yeah. i'm gonna just be on a boat yeah, i'm gonna be on a boat go baby go baby go and that's that woke up you know what's crazy today is sundown hmm? today's sunday right not always sundays are usually our hardest days to wake up the church and we be dragging our feet to get out of the bed this morning i woke up without an alarm by myself it's because we're used to being up no corey even on sun on, on saturdays i wake up at seven that's because we're usually exhausted by the time sunday is that's so, true we I'm got to relax <laughs> this morning i woke up at like seven no six i don't know seven our time six their time Without a problem. Whatever. Shout out to our church. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy but sad because we just moved into our new building and the first services are today. So we'll have to watch the live stream after snorkeling. But we woke up, did our devotionals, prayed, and now we're eating breakfast. The breakfast here is really good. That's one thing I can't say really good I had a we had a coconut pancake this morning that was really good their juices are like fresh and really good I had cherry juice and soursop juice today they had ackee and sawfish they had fried dumpling they had kalaloo turkey bacon sausage french toast um, plantain um, what else I'm making stuff assortment of fruit. Corey had a donut that was really, really good. It was really like moist. Yeah, breakfast is like probably the best. And he had a coconut. He gonna ask the lady, y'all, he gonna ask the lady if we're allowed to get coconut. She looked at him and she was like, I'm, I was like, I'm, I'm surprised she didn't suck her teeth at you. Mm -hmm. But we are at an all-inclusive resort. This is Couples No Grill, so all-inclusive. I love that. Let me walk in and eat. Sit me down. Wait on me. <laughs> Ask me what I want to drink. Mmm, <laughs> full service. But I'm not gonna hold y'all. There, there's some of the um, workers here that you can tell we in Jamaica, like. I remember the first night we were here, um, we went to guest services and we asked about like the menus, right? 
because one of the guys from the front desk told us to like go to them because we can see like the menus of all the restaurants here. We got to the desk and the lady's like, there's a board downstairs that has all the menus on it. I was like, copy. Respect. Respectfully, we're leaving. Like, what y'all bothering me for? Go look for it. Basically, was the attitude. So, whatever. Oh, and y'all, the freaking, the freaking cab to Miss Lily's last night was 40 beans. $40 for an eight minute ride? And then Corey talking about, you gonna tip him? No! <laughs> you got to tip with that $40. Nah, I'm just a deposit for the day. No, I was tight, like, because in Cabo, we went further. I think our ride was like 20 minutes and we only paid like $20, 15 and $20. So I'm like, $40? Y'all just getting over. And the guy was like, 20, got, 20 going and 20 coming back. So I was just gonna give him $20 while we, while we got to Mr. Lee's and then give him that $20 when we got back to our hotel. He's like, no, you gotta pay him full. Don't worry, I'll come pick you up. Uh, Shaba, that was his name. Shaba, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, happy anniversary, baby. Happy anniversary, my baby. Say it back. Happy anniversary. <laughs> yeah. What's, how you pronounce this? Zatabi? Tabi? Zatabi? We'll We just got here. It's so pretty. Well, hopefully this food is good. Huh? <laughs> Good morning. So it's day it's four. Third, third full day. Third full day, but day four. So we're just gonna say day four. Um, we're waiting to get picked up for our ride to what was what was an, a surprise a few seconds ago, but one of the um guys that work here, he asked Corey where we were going and Corey showed him and I said, don't read it out loud because I don't know where we're going. He proceeds to read it out loud. So I know where we're going. We're going ATVN, but I didn't know up until this point. So thank you, baby. <laughs> Corey's you make it hard for a brother. <laughs> but I was just so shocked because last night when we got back from Extavi, which was really good, I walk in. And my baby had the roof set up, all nice, with roses and sparkling fire. <laughs> we got lit, it's like, but it was so nice. 
was not expecting it at all. So we're going ATVing. <laughs> I'm mad excited. But I'm going to be nervous. I'm telling you right now. I don't know. I think it'll be, hopefully it's calmer. Because when I went ATVing in Dubai, the hills were like crazy. So hopefully Jamaica is a little bit more calm. But we've been active for real. Out yeah, every day for much real. Been off the resort every day. But that's it. You did good. You're doing good. It's been amazing. It's just been surprising me left and right. That's what I do. Uh, we didn't get no breakfast. We probably could go get some. Anyway, that's gonna be an all-day thing. And we'll be back at what, 5.30? Close the beer. Oh, Corey, oh, we could just go to where they be singing at for dinner. And we gotta make a reservation for the other place for tomorrow. Mm, 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 mm. I bought the wrong shades. These are brown. They're not gonna look right, right? Just give me yours. What? <laughs> oh. These don't look right. They look crazy. Camera, so let's just turn to the side. The big hope where one thing will be the all ahead of us. And as you can see here, we drive on the left side of the road. Left side, as you can see, is the right side. Right side, suicide. Same road to take from the airport, same road we take back. Yeah, man. Guys and trust issues, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we, we think we're gonna hit some. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We did it. Good job. So, Y'all, we're in the middle of ATVing. As you can see here. I have my own ATV. So, hey, I we're would, not doing all that. I would. <laughs> Pay $400, she better get her own ATV. It's but, fine. Uh, it's been cool. It's been raining all day. Yeah, so we might not make it to the last part of the excursion, which is what I wanted the most. But okay. take what we could get. And, uh, Corey, Corey has done an amazing job with this anniversary trip and the whole itinerary. Let me tell y'all, because I wanted to go zip lining and ATV in, and here we are. Had no idea. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. We are soaked. Yeah, that's I'm about ready to go home and take a shower. Yeah, I'm ready to. My pants are like super wet. <laughs> so we'll see. If we get to the bamboo raft, then we'll let y'all know. If yeah, not, I'm yeah, I'm on. I'm probably gonna be ducked off for the rest Big of the day. Big up yourself. Yes, yes, yes. That's enough. <laughs> Y'all, Corey, tired. <laughs> so, we just took a ride from the other place to over here, wherever we are, to go <laughs> bamboo rafting. And that ride was like 45 minutes long and very rocky. We both were knocked out, heads bobbing all over the place. That's what it looks like. There's like a bathroom station, all that. Nap is not long enough. The boy is tired. We just want to lay down. Corey just want to watch the game. That's all he worried I'm about. Sleep during that jaw. It's a long day. ATVM was fun. We couldn't get a lot of stuff because we were obviously riding. And they didn't want you to record at the same time. So, but it was nice.
look, I'll tell you one thing. They ain't rubbing no limestone on my wife. <laughs> I don't care. Look, I, I, I saw the reviews already. They thought it was. Come on, Kate. Yeah, see what I mean? Hey people, so don't mind how crazy it looking here. I'm in the process of packing. We leave tomorrow, so this is our fifth day here. Um, it's been quite a day. If y'all can't tell, look at the room. Clothes everywhere. We shot content today. Um, so check out our Instagram and TikToks. I want to get like one good picture in before um, we're like done for the day. But I think I was telling Corey, I think overall our time here was like really nice for me personally. I don't know if Jamaica would be like on my top five of places to come just because of like, you know, the culture that we're always joking about, like how Jamaican people always have attitude or whatever. It's the real deal. And it hasn't been like my experience from every single person, especially not every single person that's been working here. But there have been like a select few that have just like, just had attitudes for no reason. And I'm like, hello, you are in the um, tourism industry, customer service. I didn't tell you to get this job. Why you got attitude with me? So that is kind of like a turn off. But there are, there are like a lot of people who we've met here who are extremely nice. Also, like I've, said in the video earlier these people here aren't afraid to be like oh tip tip me and that can be like a turn off too because it's just like I don't know maybe it's just me I don't like being told to do something when I was already gonna do it <laughs> so that's just that but all in all we had like a beautiful time for our anniversary and I think it's been a great trip um, a great refreshing relaxing time we've gotten a lot of sleep had some adventurous moments i am kind of excited to go back home tomorrow to be around friendly people <laughs> no, let me stop. um but yeah it's it's also weird i was telling corey too that like i've had somewhat of like guilt i think because of like what we do i'm just so used to like shooting every single thing so when we first got here i'm like do we need to shoot some so just not like having to do that you kind of feel like you need to and you don't kind of know how to turn it off so like it took a it took a while for me to adjust to like turn that off and just relax but that's been nice um yeah. So updated with that. We had breakfast this morning. We had lunch here as well. Um, I had a veggie burger. That was pretty good. Corey had jerk chicken. And y'all, the place that we went to, the excursion place, that place was really, really nice. Um, the rain was just like annoying, but we still had fun. But the, they serve you food. I think food was a part of the package. I have to ask Corey because he plans everything. But I think the food was a part of the package. And they only gave you like a, a plate of like rice and peas festival, which is like fried bread and um, jerk chicken. But the chicken was like grilled first. And I think here, Corey was saying he didn't think they grill it. I think they bake it here. 
on the resort. So he got like jerk chicken and that was really good. Um, the rice and peas is really good. So like the food that we've had outside has been really, really great. So we're at the airport. For the cry. We just had beef patties. Again. Again. But this was the first time I've had a veggie patty since I've been here. And it was so good that I got another one. You know I had to double it. We we're waiting to board. We we're really early. We really, got really up. early. We came and got the bags at 6.30. We left at like 7.15. Our flight's not till like almost one o'clock. Yeah. So we just gonna be kicking it. What time is it now? Like 10? 10.03. 10.03. So we'll probably do some editing. Some reading. And yeah, reading. And yeah. So um, we literally had to like, Corey had to go around the resort right before we left to get like the last minute content we needed because we were just, honestly, we were, too, we were barely on the, on the resort. That's basically what it was. <laughs> We were out eating oh, and out, Lord. yeah, or on excursions or something. So we didn't really get like all the content we needed for like our reel or TikTok. Um, so we had to do that early this morning. And Corey went around. We yeah. had like a little complimentary breakfast. That's what they call it? Continental. Continental. Mm -hmm. Breakfast, which was like a bagel. First of all, that mango jam was really good. Yeah, you like downplayed it. He said like, it's all right. That that jam was good. I didn't really like my bagel like that. Um, I, I wasn't crazy about the bagel. I wasn't crazy about the bagel, but the jam. They had a mango jam, and that was really really good. Um, and I tasted the star fruit. That's what it was. It didn't. It wasn't. It was I think like, my issue is I, I expect everything to be sweet, and it wasn't. So. Yeah, that's what we need. You know that crazy stuff. I get home. I don't, you know, that crazy stuff. Anyway, but yeah, so. Would you get a resort, resort review? 60 seconds. Hurry up. I truly, I would say a six, seven, six, seven. But it's, it's multiple things. So the resort offer where we're like, more modern decor people but we, like i think the decor had to grow on us because it was like rustic jamaican feel so it was still nice it wasn't like you know what we were used to but it was still nice yeah, it's um, not like the the hilton marriott yeah you know kind of updated yeah look kind of like still gives you jamaica in jamaica but it wasn't like bootleg you know what i mean like they still had really nice stuff. The room was really nice. Um, air conditioner worked. Like all the shower, the bathroom was really nice. The lighting was good in the bathroom. So all those things. It's a little dark like, in the room, but yeah. Just, but that's like in every hotel room, which is so annoying. Why don't y'all put? <laughs> why don't y'all put lights on the top, like on the ceiling? I don't understand. It's like never any light in any, any hotels. But whatever. Um, so majority of that score comes from the food because I think I think because of the fact that like there's people from all over the world traveling they don't want to just feed everybody jerk chicken and rice and peas every single day which I understand but I do think there should be a place where you can get that every single day if you wanted to yeah. in addition to having all the other stuff yeah. you know they had the Asian they had Italian. the Asian I didn't like it at all. I already told y'all that. Corey thought his schools are cool. right. Um, the main place that I felt like was the best place to eat was the place, the place that we got breakfast at because we got they're we the, got uh, dinner there. They're in a grill. Huh? The grill. You like the grill? I could. Helanica look, or something like that. Hello, huh, something. I don't know. But there was a grill on the resort that's like open basically all day, all night. Um, so Corey was able to get like a lot of food from there because they had like jerk chicken. Um, their jerk chicken was like baked though. It wasn't really like grilled so you could taste the difference. It was still yeah. good. 
Um, but they just had like a limited menu, I feel like, for lunch. For me, personally, their fries are really good. Um, their beef patties were okay. I liked them. He liked and them. the cocoa bread was good. I just was salty because they didn't have no veggie patties. And for the beef patties, I can't really eat that. So, whatever. But that was good. But I feel like the breakfast was like really, really good. It's the authentic like Jamaican breakfast and it was buffet style. And then the place that we had breakfast we went to for dinner and the dinner was really, really good. And they had live music and the live music was always really good. Yeah. And we heard it from our um, room it too. Loud. It was but loud, it was but good. it was it was good. And it wasn't like loud, distracting loud, like to the point where we couldn't hear what we were watching on TV. We also started this new show called Rabbit Hole and it's really, really good, sidebar. But um, yeah, I think, oh, I also wasn't crazy about <laughs> I wasn't crazy about how much it costs to get around down here. Like, basically $60, $40 and up for a round trip, which I think is crazy. But, yeah, so that's that's my rate. What about you? Um, I, I enjoyed where we stayed. I think, like, one thing that we have to, like, adjust to rapidly is, like, going from the busyness of life to, like, nothing and I think that was kind of like a shock at first because I know like our first bit of conversation I'm kind of like oh well uh, you know we want to get enough content because that's you know how we sustain our livelihood um, and different things like that so I thought that that was kind of like a unique experience in that sense of uh, I'm all in my face because um, the beach was really quiet kind of adapting to that because the beach was extremely quiet we had some people that stopped by and they would like play music or whatever. And then a couple of the resorts, probably further down the beach, you could hear a little bit of music from, but it was literally like just water. That's all you heard. And that was very different, but very enjoyable. And kind of comparing to like our first trip together when we went to um, Cabo, um, waves were crashing and you could hear it literally throughout the whole entire night. And we couldn't really swim in that water, so that was definitely different. You couldn't really swim in that water. We can't even try. It was not. Um, excursions included. Highly recommend. Definitely enjoyed that. The snorkeling. For the first time, I thought that her. Um, there were a couple of other excursions included, like it had trips to like, the city area. Um, a couple of other different places. Shopping. Shopping, things of that sort. Um, glass we didn't bottom. Do that yet. Glass bottom. Boat. Boat. Um, the ski. Water, water, water skiing. skiing. That was, cool. that's, no, that was money. Water skiing and a parasailing you have to pay for. I'm sorry. I just don't want them, I don't want y'all trying to book and think that's included because it wasn't. So we didn't do uh, it. <laughs> food was okay. I'll probably stick with the six or seven range on that. Um, very friendly, like waitress, waitresses, and then also the people that worked at the front desk. They were really nice to us as well. Um, one thing that I think is important, especially like when you're traveling, is like that you get familiar with people's names. And every time we walk past, like they always said our names. So I thought that that was something that was um, well noted on our side, at least. Um, the upgraded room was really nice. We appreciated that. Um, and having to get used to the all-inclusive, because I'm like, I'm such a nice guy. Like, I'm always asking, like, are we allowed to do such and such? And I'd be trying to clean up, and they'd be like, you can leave that there. I'm like, no, I yeah. we got it. I think they still appreciate it. Yeah. And then also, like, make sure that you bring money to tip, because one thing is we kind of travel throughout, you know, from excursion to excursion, or from a hotel or whatever the case may be. Um, it's huh? it's different out here. You want to um, definitely you have a like huge appreciation mother. for hard work. Um, the way that they build houses and some of the ones that reside on the mountains, they can't even get cars up there, so they have to carry materials. Um, a lot of people walk. Different things of that sort that I think sometimes we take for granted. Um, and I know we talked about this a little bit, but maybe for longer vacations, at least having like a day to be able to serve with like a non-profit or a church or whatever the case may be um, in order to be able to learn more about the community and the culture from the people and being able to serve them um, because 
I think that's one of the benefits of having influence in that sense is how do other people benefit from what God has, you know, given us the ability to steward over and ensuring that people's livelihoods are impacted by um, our visitation to their countries or, you know, even the stuff that we do back home or whatever. But um, that's something that we talked about and perfectly we'll be able to kind of do a little bit more of that. Um, I did it in Cabo two or three years ago and I really enjoyed it and built excellent relationships. Um, and we're able to raise money, so we'll see. Whatever the doors the Lord opens, you know, we we'll continue to walk through them. But uh, I enjoyed it. I would love to come back. Um, how soon? I don't know yet. But maybe try Ocho's Reels. Who knows? We'll see. But um, I always appreciate bringing y'all on vacation with us. Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love y'all. See you. Keep subscribing, liking, etc. Same as well. But back to the city we go. See ya.